Hello everyone, welcome to Smart Tech. This is Kiran. Today's topic is about how to avoid appending wrong data to SAS data set when we are bringing the data from external file. The main reason here being when the column orders of both the SAS data set and external file do not match. In this topic, I will be discussing on how to append external data to SAS table. Then I will explain what happens when the column order of SAS data set and external file do not match. Then finally, I will talk on how to make sure correct data is appended to SAS data set using a macro variable and automating the, automating the whole process in a macro. Now let's look into our regular production data. This is created once and I am showing this table creation just for illustration purpose. And in this code, emphasis more on is an input statement. An input statement is very important because it allows us to do a lot of modifications and the main significance of reading the data in this form in a data step rather than PROC import is we can manipulate so many things. We can define lengths. We can also tell which variable is character, which variable is numeric and so and so forth. PROC import doesn't give that kind of flexibility. Now let us look into our data. Our data has four columns F name, L name, state, IMP well, with the values of James, Smith, New York and 100 for first row. This is to just illustrate how our production data looks like. So once the input statement works it reads all our data very nicely and everything looks pretty clean here. Now let us read an external file which has correct column order. The column order here is F name, L name, state, IMP and the data in the external file is in this format and we are reading it from second row and we are doing an input statement. Let's see what happens after we append the data. Once we have read the data, when the column order was correct and we are appending two new rows in a very good fashion and everything looks perfect and clean. Now let us see what happens when the column order is not right. In this case, the column order has been deferred little bit because sometimes outside vendors can send you the files which differ little bit. So then we read the same data by using an in-file statement and input statement. And finally, what we do is we proc append our data to production file. And if you can see here, the data read was wrong and appending was wrong appending was done. This has been seen in a real time and the wrong appending was happening quite often and then once somebody was trying to see how many IMPs were there per state, the state had a different values. There were so many issues with the data and as you can see Miller is not a proper state value and IMP had missing value. So whenever we want to do sum of IMP by a state, the results were always wrong. So from here we can clearly understand that appending of wrong data will give us a lot of problems while doing data analysis and also how nobody can trust our data. So let us look into how we can fix this problem. So one way to fix this problem is to compare the column order of our production file with external file. How can we do this? 
we can do this by understanding little bit about dictionary dot columns first dictionary dot columns is a table which stores all the information about all columns in all tables let us understand this by an example here we are looking about sas help dot class table so when i do a query on dictionary dot columns and i say select lib name mem name name type length from dictionary dot columns where lib name equal to sas help and mem equal to class it gives the information about sas help dot class columns so here give it gives that the lib name is sas help mem name is equal to class and here we get the information about column names and their data types and length the important point to remember he, here is that we can get the column name information this column name information can be wrapped up in a macro variable and we can use this macro variable to compare with external files now let us see how we can do this with the help of production data set here is our production data set which is prod dot person wherein we are doing everything as shown in the previous slide but our lib name here is prod and mem name is equal to person and we are capturing the column name into a macro variable by using an into clause once we have created macro variable from the column names what we can do is we can check out how does this come out or how does this look this we can do by using a percent put statement here i have given percent put this is a standard file column order and the macro variable name which is standard and here we are referencing it as ampersand standard the values are f name l name state imp if if you look closely this is the column order in our production data set now let us look into how we can create the same for our external file in case of external file we are going to read an external file whose column order is not correct in the example here we have the column order as f name imp name and state what are we going to do in this step in this step we are going to say options ops equal to 1 what does this do whenever it reads an external file or it reads anything it just reads the first observation in our case this first observation is our column names and we are going to capture the column names and we are doing it by using proc import so once we have done this what we are going to do we are again going to do the same thing we are going to use the data set which we have created in the case of our external file and then using that we are going to capture the column names into a macro variable in this case it is known as test and we again need to do the same percent put statement and check out the values of our ampersand test here it gives the column order as f name imp l name state now let us look visually how our standard file column order and our test file column order looks like the standard file column order is given for our sas data set and it has f name l name state imp whereas for our external file it is f name imp l name and state i have color coded in a such a way you can see whenever there is not a match the color codes are very different to conclude here what we have done is we have captured column orders of our standard data set 
which is our production production data set and also external file and then we have compared both of them and we have done till now visually only now let us look into how we can put this into a macro and we can do all the analysis so here what we are doing is once we have captured our values into a macro variable or the column order into macro variable we are going to compare our production data set column order with our external file column order and there is nothing new in this macro it is a straightforward macro so if they match if the column orders of production data set and external file match then we are going to read the data set and we are going to append the data set and we are going to have a note saying that data got appended say if our column orders do not match what we are going to do we are going to say there is error and data has not been appended and also we are going to show the column orders of both our production data set and external file and we will also be aborting this whole process now let us run our code in sas studio in here first we are going to create our production table and then we are going to capture our column order into a macro variable now let's run this query but one point to remember here is the production table will be already there wherever you're working so need not do this step but this is only for the illustration let us run the whole query so once i run this query i got my table created in the log i also get the column order in this step we are going to proc import our external file and then we are going to create a macro variable from the data set we have created from proc import and we are going to compare the column order of our production data set to our external file in a macro and append only when everything is right now let's look it step by step so one notable difference or change i have done is i have created a macro variable for file name this will help us to check various files or whenever the file name is changed it is very easy to change at one place and if you are giving something like this it's very easy to do so next we are going to proc import that file name and then here we are reading that into a macro variable and then we are going to test it test it here and please remember this external file has column order in a proper fashion now let's run this program and see how everything looks we can see few things here let's first look into our log in the log let's look into whether we have any errors or not i see there are no errors and the data also has got appended we can see by the note here that the data set has two observation and four variables and there were two observations read from work dot person and two observations were added so this is when we have an external file which is in proper column order and is comparable to our production data set now let us see what happens if we read a incorrect external file wherein the column order does not match with our production data set let me quickly run this let us look into the log here and understand better what exactly is happening when the column order does not match between production data set column order and external file 
what is going to happen is instead of percent then do it's going to run percent else do wherein we get a message saying that our data did not got appended that's what we got in here and our standard column order is f name l name state imp and our test column order is f name imp l name state so the column orders here i have not matched and also we have given a percent about statement finally this about the whole process finally i would like to conclude this topic by saying if you are able to compare the column orders of production data set to external file we can avoid appending wrong data this can be done very easily by using macro variables that's all for this topic today thank you very much goodbye